Few things are as peaceful as paddling onto a quiet Iowa lake. But add a full moon to the mix, and you have a recipe for a very special experience. Several Iowa communities have begun embracing this activity by offering scenic tours of Iowa waterways under pitch black skies. Whether you're a novice or a veteran rower, everyone is invited to participate in the nocturnal paddle. At Brushy Creek State Park near Lehigh, the DNR has gone one step further, providing canoes and kayaks at no cost. And for the last full moon of the summer, the Brushy Creek Night Paddle had its largest participation to date. Just south of Fort Dodge sits Brushy Creek State Park, a 6,000-acre equestrian park and campground. Once a forested canyon, Brushy Creek was flooded in the late 80s to create a recreation area and Brushy Creek Dam. While popular with fishermen, campers, and horseback riders, on full moon summer nights, the DNR invites paddlers out onto the lake to take in the night sky. People come out, they can use kayaks or the canoes, and then they go out on the water. We go around Taylor Island, which is the island right behind me, and it takes about a half hour to 45 minutes. For six years, Aaron Ford and the Webster County DNR have been organizing Brushy Creek night paddles. At no cost, attendees can drive up to the park's south boat ramp and find the DNR providing a limited supply of everything required to get out on the water. So if you're out here a little bit before we get started, you'll more than likely get a vessel, either a canoe or a kayak. And then, yeah, we have the paddles, we have the vests, we have the lights, we have all that stuff. So all they have to do is just be here. Even though the night paddle is a summer favorite for seasoned paddlers, it routinely draws first timers with high expectations for the evening. I'm hoping we see some stars. It's kind of cloudy tonight. Some nature, definitely. Some nature. <laughs> Each other, hopefully not fall in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we don't get lost from each other because this is a new adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Brushy Creek is well known with locals from Fort Dodge, Lehigh, Duncombe, and other nearby towns, with everyone having their own personal history with the park. I need that! <laughs> My grandfather actually grew up out here, and so I came out here as a child with him, and so this is, um, this is kind of home to me. The full moon is unquestionably the main attraction, but according to Night Paddle veterans, there's much more to experience than just the sky. I came to the one on July 31st, and it was a beautiful full moon. We went around the, the island behind us and watched the sunset. We had a mink show up that night and kind of followed us around. It was just beautiful, something different. It was quiet like the lake is tonight and, and really enjoyable, very relaxing. Tina and Sue are a mother and daughter duo who bought their kayaks just before the summer, all the while eagerly waiting for the boating season to kick off. Hearing about their various kayak outings, it's easy to see how anyone could get hooked on the activity. Last week, we went on a, a short jaunt um, on Lizard Creek, which was our first time out other than a lake. And so just to, to be out in the trees and the water, and we had a blue heron that zigzagged the whole trip in front of us, and just... And a bald eagle over us. A bald eagle flying over us. So that was pretty cool. While kayaks generally sit only one person at a time, they're a great way to introduce others to the water and have a really unique adventure. We've had six of my grandkids in the kayaks this summer, and so we just use this as an opportunity to, to share with them and, and learn and teach, and, and it's something they can do. They can't drive a motorboat, they can't, but they can get in a kayak and go. So it gives them kind of power in their hands, which is kind of fun too. As the summer night paddle season came to a close, Brushy Creek and the Webster County DNR 
saw its largest crew of rowers show up for its last event. Thankfully, a day that started off as overcast and wet gave way just in time for the paddle, allowing the last full moon of the summer to peek out from behind trace clouds and give paddlers one last look at the night sky. <laughs>